I just hope that you can take this experience and realize that life is not about you. <laughs> Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, my God, it's so pissing cold in London down. Oh, yeah, it's so pissing cold. Because we are British. But it's snowing outside and my studio is just freezing, so I have to sacrifice the fashion today for a cut-off sleeveless hoodie. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, wow. scandalous. So, my lovelies, are you ready for another step into the bizarre world of wedding reality TV shows? Because we've done bridal plasty. We've done a little bit of don't tell the bride. Today we're going to be also starting another wedding series here on the Chanel. One that you guys have not stopped telling me to watch and I cannot wait. Bridezillas. Yes, my lovelies. If you are not familiar with the concept of a bridezilla, it is where a bride in a wedding situation usually becomes a little bit completely insufferable about their wedding. Electric chair. Sometimes it's justified and sometimes it is just like, Kim, there are people dying in the world. So my lovelies, if you don't know me, my name is Luxaria and I've been a makeup artist for 16 years and within that, is weddings. Weddings and makeup artistry go hand in hand, my lovelies. If you didn't know, the wedding industry is worth about $400 billion a year. Can you believe it? It is such an incredibly wealthy industry. People go crazy for their weddings. So is it any surprise that we have a TV show dedicated to some of the um, outlandish requests of some brides on their wedding day? Now I have worked more than a handful of weddings in my time and I have not really had the displeasure of working with a bridezilla, which is, you know, quite nice actually. So my lovelies, you might be asking, what's bridezilla? Is that TV show, Luxaria? What's that you say, bridezilla? What was that? Bridezilla's is an American reality TV series that airs on Wii TV and it debuted on June 1st, 2004. So this show has been going for a very, 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 very long time. It chronicles the lives of women engaged to be married, casting their busy schedules in an emphatic and sometimes humorous fashion. Oh, she is funny, isn't she? Everyone's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you've seen any of the clips that are going around on Instagram Reels or TikTok or Twitter, X, there have been some clips taken from this show in which sometimes we are just literally watching someone have a complete breakdown and fully just being exploited for TV ratings. And I think today we might see some of that, my lovely. So today we are watching series 11, I believe. I believe it's series 11, episode four. The title is something like Stormzilla and Pageantzilla. Now, I saw the word pageant in the title and I thought, Why aren't you making it to the pageant? She needs to be warm in this chilly weather. Oh, chilly Christmassy, chilly. It's not even Christmas, it's January. Chilly Christmassy festive uh, wig. Pop your ohanger right into your little Zilla hole. Oh, Godzilla, Bridezilla. And let's watch Bridezilla's. Oh, should we have a tantrum together? Go on, treat yourself. <laughs> oh, God. She's speeding away, girls. On Bridezilla. Bridezilla. Oh, I believe this is from recent, like 2019, I want to say. Villa Blair. Welcome to Villa Blatte. A platter. Oh my god, you know what, my loves? I was actually in America recently. Will you please get out of my way? And that's the end of the story. No. <laughs> I was in New York City recently, and you know what I was absolutely gagged by? And I don't know if this is like the case with lots of places in America. Water towers. No, I never see them in the UK. Very, very rarely do you see a water tower. Every building had like 17 of them when I was in New York. It was quite a fascinating experience. Oh, that's nice. Right, where are we? Whoa. You need to help me with these. Me with the this. incomparable bride, Shaniqua, and her matchless match, Twosky. Wait, have they just come up with like a fake Facebook page? What's this? So we have Shaniqua, she's 27, lives in Villa Plate, and is a nurse on this like fake Facebook page? Slay all day, baby. Oh, I kind of love it. Okay, well, the marketing team, she's got a B-Tech. And her matchless match, Twosky. Oh, my name match. is Shaniqua, but I prefer Sam. Sam. It's easy, it's simple. I grew up in Belfast, Louisiana, a little She's small great. country town where everyone knows everyone. You can sit on your porch. Oh my God, dumb bitch Luxaria. I didn't realize LA is not LA, it's Louisiana. <laughs> I was like, I've not heard of this place in LA, what? 
She's a friggin' genius! Where everyone knows everyone. You can sit on your porch, you can drink a beer, nine o'clock in the morning in your pajamas. Oh, yeah. Come on, we need to make these cups. I don't know about that. Why are you going out your way Where'd to you? put pearls and all that on their flip flops? We might as well give them regular flip flops. Regular flip flops are for regular people. And this extraordinary couple has, has known each other prophecy. an extraordinarily long time. 19 years, to be exact. Oh. I've been in class with this dude since, like, the fourth grade. Ask him if you remember me. You remember me? Not at all. Not Gosh, don't you remember 19 me? years ago. ugly duckling. Uh, big... Why is she called Stormzilla? Stormzilla, ugly duckling, not hot, three likes. What? Why aren't you making it to the panel? Clearly not an ugly duckling. Like, I think shows like The Swan have greatly disturbed what people think, like, ordinary people look like. A little ugly duckling, had big teeth, I, I had glasses, he was a little popular kid that stayed in the principal Glasses office. Don't make you Grab you with a pearl and you glue and come on. And then puberty kicked in. And he what is him. this like fake social media yeah. they've made in this show? Oh, look at this emoji down here. Look at that. That is frightening. What, what does that even mean? What is that? Transvestite of the bride? That's so hateful. Not into that. Puberty kicked in. Twaski may have started out in Sam's inbox, hashtag. but he ended up in her heart. I've been oh. dreaming about this way with Twaski and I since it's I was about skin. 11 or 12. And Sam knows exactly what will set her wedding Those apart. Cheekbones. For our wedding, we want sparklers. It's real nice, real elegant. <laughs> They've been on Premiere Pro. Why do the sparklers do that? They don't do that? No. Then what do they do? They sparkle. So they don't shoot up, okay. but they do. Is that a miss? Well, I think you need to really They're both call 27 years old. Okay. There's nobody to call. You have 14 women you can call on. 14 women that's working on my nerve. We have this big old wedding. 14 bridesmaids. 14 groomsmen. Welcome to Louisiana. Oh, this is how we get married. Big wedding that's going to be. 14 Twice brides, 14 grooms. I don't think I even know 28 people. <laughs> So now I'm trying to sit there and make sure it happens. I'm the one dealing with all the stress, not you. She's just overwhelmed with the wedding right now, and it's like everything is demanding. Because you're moving too slow. Oh, I've yes. I've been doing all this for 10 months. I've been right here on your months. side the whole 10 months. Yeah, right there on my side doing absolutely nothing. Can I at least get a please? Show how long this is. I understand this is my wedding. I understand this is my moment. I mean, that is quite often the case, isn't it? A lot of people feel like their wedding is like the ultimate moment of almost being like kind of celebrity in a way. Like it's a, it's the biggest day of your life. It's the most expensive day of your life, unless you're buying a house. It's the most gorgeous, glamorous day of your life. Like that's how it's advertised to people. So I'm not in any way, shape or form surprised when people say it's the most stressful day of their lives. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be like this, no. I do want to say though, I have a funny feeling that very similar to Don't Tell the Bride, we're going to have this recurring theme of like, the men just don't really care. They're kind of like, and what? Yeah, I'll go at my own glacial pace. I have very little patience for people who are like, what am I doing? What's going on? You want me to do what? I'm like, no, just stop immediately. Hey, we're gonna get through this all together, okay? I love you. I love you. Four days before the wedding, Sam has a dress fitting for herself, oh. followed by a bridesmaid's dress inspection. Oh. But it seems her ride is running late. Oh, I like her glasses. I am still waiting for my bridesmaid, Tiffany. I don't like to drive. So, baby, you gotta pick me up. You gotta bring me everywhere we need to go. We gotta get everything rolling. And while she right. waits for Tiffany, Sam decides to check in with her wedding coordinator. It's driving me crazy. Oh, yes, that's your wedding coordinator. My goodness. Oh, now you want to answer the phone? Ooh. I was busy doing something that you wanted to do for your wedding. My coordinator is my cousin, Ison. He has definitely been a big part in helping me plan and everything. Okay. I found out he booked another bride, which I specifically told him. He cannot work with no other bride until my wedding was over. So he better put her to the side for the next few days and tend to me. But before Sam can let him have it. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that, my lovely. Not sure about that. I feel like that might be a little bit 
selfish perhaps? It depends. Is the cousin, does, like, does he run like a wedding dynasty or is it like a, I'm doing this as a favor to you and you're gonna pay me or, like we don't know the situation there enough, do we? But imagine if you like going into a bridal shop and being like, I'm the only, where I'm the only bride, actually. Deranged. You'd be like, I, uh, madam, unless you're going to pay for an entire year's worth of work, perhaps not. Ison cuts her off at the pass with some bad news. Oh, gosh. I know you wanted some sparklers, but since the blood happened in Houston, they're not shipping out. I'm trying to see if I can pick it up. They say they were house with under Wait, water. wait, uh, hold up, hold up. What do you mean they can't ship out? What? UPS is not closed, and neither is the mail. Why they can't ship out? Well, their warehouse was flooded. That's not my fault. So apparently there's some hurricane in Houston, and I'm not too fond of that. You need to. Oh, <laughs> oh no! There's been a hurricane, and I'm not fond of that. I mean, a hundred percent. But you do also have to be realistic. If something cannot be achieved, then something else has to take its place. I don't feel like I'm quite understanding what a sparkler is in this sense. Like in the UK, we have sparklers, those little like things that you hold like this, and you go like, oh yay, L O V E spells love, like. That's what we have as a sparkler. Is that different? Is it different in America? And I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to know about if the warehouse got flooded. I don't care about none of that. Find my sparklers and find it now. It is four. Oh, I'm not sure about that. It is four days away from the wedding. Wait, we have no it's the reason why she's called Stormzilla because she doesn't appreciate a hurricane interrupting her sparkler delivery. Is that why she's called Stormzilla? And on top of this, where are my bridesmaids? Where are y'all when I need y'all? Before Sam that? can spontaneously combust, bridesmaid Tiffany arrives to bear the brunt of our bridezilla's frustrations. Oh. It's 10.48, Tiffany. I told you 10 a.m. I've been knowing Sam for about six years. We're nursing friends, and I'm a friend of the family. Okay. Time is money. We can't get back these 48 minutes. Oh, my God. Yes, you're right. Oh my God! Why do you smell so good? Where you going? Nowhere. You. And that's why you took long. You, no, that's not why. I love her. Is that a bug behind? Is this a bug? Is this a bug here? Is that a bug? That is terrifying. But for the last. That is. What is that? What is no, that? No, that's not why. I love her. <gasps> I don't like whatever that is. That looks very frightening and large, and it might leap at any minute. Also. I don't know about you, but like there seems to be quite a fiery situation happening here. Almost perhaps an argument. I don't know. I don't see the thing is because this is from a relatively recent show in terms of like reality TV. I do wonder if maybe now because people have grown up watching these kind of shows, there is an aspect of like, well, let's amp it up, amp up my attitude for the TV so I will be memorable. They were old maiden type of shoes. Like this is my moment kind of a thing. Do you know what I mean? Because I can't imagine being a bridesmaid and helping someone and be them being like, you 48 minutes late, like, and now I'm going to yell at you on my front porch. I don't know. I would be a bit like, well, you can always drive yourself. Goodbye. But for the last couple of weeks, she is really intolerable. Like, she's she's worse than Cinderella's stepmother type. Great. Oh, now they've done a photo. What's this? Photoshop bug happening, but no, um, I, I do agree. I think weddings have a tendency sometimes to make people quite insufferable. Yes. <laughs> Someone's been at Microsoft like really. Paint. I need to get my dress altered. You know, go to dress fitting at five o'clock. Today? Yes, today. Oh. So tonight we're gonna have the dress fitting for my bridesmaids. I don't think half of them even altered their dresses yet. So I'm supposed to drive you around? I'm, that's what I'm, that's my job? You gonna do whatever I ask you to do. I need help around here. What's the purpose of being a bridesmaid if y'all can't help me with nothing? I'm Think the only funny. person here, always. I'm here to help Sam because I can tolerate more than the rest of the bridesmaids. Oh, this is quite but Zilla behavior, I don't even know it? if I'll be able to deal with her today. While Sam heads inside to get her dress, Tiffany gets a 911 call from a fellow bridesmaid. Oh gosh. Rashonda. I have a problem. My dress is being in the back. Tonight, she wants everybody over here. Why you didn't call Sam? I'm not in a school right now because we're going to have a problem. <clears throat> Oh, it does feel like all of her friends are like, oh, I don't know if I want to tell her. 
<laughs> this is true bridezilla behavior, isn't it? She wants everyone to do everything that she wants. So I haven't actually been to a wedding as like a guest for a very, very, very long time. And I've never really had to like worry about dresses or anything like that. Is it normal? for bridesmaids to get things altered? Or is that like up to the bride and in the bridal budget? Hmm. Deep meaningful questions here with Luxaria like, on the Chanel. I'ma tell her, I'm just gonna have to try to find a way to tell her. Right, oh look, she's got that nervous, I know you ain't scared of her, but, but she's already, she she got a thousand issues already. Oh, now, dear. I'm gonna have to explain the fact that Rashawn distress doesn't fit. But that's also not your fault, like, oh, I, I just, like, you're a friend, you're not meant to be, like, a punching bag for a wedding. Right, here we go, who's this? Taylor Girls, 23. In Texas. We should From probably Tex look at every other card that I have. Yeah, that's what mom said. There's only 36 hours until the wedding, and our pageant Zilla has gathered her extended family at mom's house pageant. to complete all of the projects for her DIY wedding. Right. DIY. My level is way higher than I anticipated it to be because my centerpieces are not finished. I don't get them done. This wedding will not happen. And right. this social media maven will have to kiss her dreams of going viral goodbye. Oh, not <laughs> trending. No. So oh, no. If you're only having a wedding to go viral and you're not actually like getting all this stuff sponsored for free from giant wedding industries or whatever, whatever on earth. Don't do things for just for social media. Do them because you love them. I know that's rich coming from me, but still, I love everything that I do and I put my heart and soul into everything I make. I don't just do something for the concept of like, oh, I hope this goes viral because you're gonna be chasing that forever. For yes, you still need that stuff. Right, do you this? need this blueberry muffin? Hey, spray muffin. Painting this too. Do you have the blueberry muffin? Doesn't. Oh, nope. Nope. Now what's happening? It doesn't fit. Ugh. I am very close to Taylor because she is my first niece. I feel like I am very honest with Taylor and I will tell her things that maybe her mom won't tell her. Like the fact she doesn't need to be eating muffins when she can't fit into her wedding dress. How many? Center pieces do you need? Okay, I'm not here for that. Not here for that at all. She doesn't need to be eating muffins. If she wants to have a muffin, she can have a muffin. Like a single muffin is not going to be like, oh, uh, problems. I know. I find that very odd. One odd thing to put in, especially in this day and age. Like one odd, odd, odd. Quite the scandal, actually. This is a mess. Taylor does need to get focused. I'm really disappointed in how she's handling this whole Geneva. thing. Geneva. Is it margarita time? Oh. With Sitting on the floor with a margarita. ...beverage in sight, Grandma starts to wonder where the maid of honor is. Right. Where is Daisy? Daisy. She is MIA once again. Stacy has been MIA since the weight loss wrap. She's not helping me Stacey? at all. Tonight was supposed to be the bachelorette party. So, hang on, since what? She has been MIA since the weight loss wrap. She's not since the weight loss wrap. What does that mean? A soiled wig. Do you know what I have noticed about this episode compared to older shows, shall I say? This is moving at such a fast pace. I don't really know quite what we're watching. We've just watched her try and try on a wedding dress, but apparently it's not fitting. And now we're having like weight loss conversation talk, but it's only been like 40 seconds. So we've got all this information in such a short amount of time that I'm like, who is who? What are we watching? You're watching. Lady Gaga. Die. Tonight was supposed to be the bachelorette party, but I have no expectations at this point. Well, that wasn't exactly the case after hearing Stacy had been scheduled to work tonight. <gasps> I only have one friend and it just sucks that she's, <gasps> she's putting herself before me and it's my day. But speak. Oh. Like, I understand. I understand. I understand. Dan. Are you sure? The feelings of frustration, but is there any more of a turn off sentence in life than hearing someone say this? She's putting herself before me and it's my day. My special day! I don't think I've ever in my life felt like that. Speak of the devil. Speak of Satan, here she is. Oh, what a hideous emoji. Say hi. Yeah, hi everyone. She's had enough time to go her. and get her. <laughs> I was able to drink. get off of work, thank goodness. I got the whole weekend for her. This is gonna be a bachelor party she never even saw coming. Things are about to get crazy. Sounds intriguing. So we love but for her part, Taylor seems satisfied to settle their differences with a little so passive-aggressive yeah. DIYing. 
I'm worried about the flowers dying. Those are gonna have to have water. I don't know how flowers work. I don't do flowers. I'm mean, sorry, but also these flowers. I hope I'm not overstepping the mark here. Maybe they're a special flower in Texas or a special flower to this family or something, but hideous, <laughs> hideous flowers. <laughs> It's like, oh, gooseberry bush weeds. Yes, my centerpiece. I feel like this is a little bit Pinterest. She had a mason jar and a dream. Oh God, so did that man from 2007. Quite the scandal, actually. If you know, you know. But I just don't know. I just don't know about these flowers. No. Cancelled! The flowers dying. Those are gonna have to have water. I don't know how flowers work. I don't do flowers. You need to start pouring? <sighs> Susie and I have a very unique relationship. We tend to get catty at each other and fight, and it's almost like sisters. It almost just resolves itself. What a horrible friendship. <laughs> Stacy takes a few deep breaths. Ooh, she's Taylor got, turns she's her attention back to the today. task at hand. Right. I feel like I had a lot more mason jars hey, than just this. Hey, because you painted them and it's ugly. Oh. Taylor wants to incorporate these pink jars, which nobody... This industry is worth nearly half a trillion dollars, just so you know. I'm all for DIYing something and making something a little bit more affordable, but sometimes you do just have to say, is this really necessary? <laughs> no. To incorporate these pink jars, which nobody likes. They are kind of janky looking. Oh. You don't want to just what, Mom? Mom? Where are my other pink jars? Taylor, they're going in the trash. Those box. are not going in the trash. Oh, don't box. throw them no, away. No, they're not. We're not using those. Yes, we are. I spray painted them. I spent forever doing them. So I want these jars in my centerpieces. Look, we made all of the centerpieces. It's done. Things are done unless I get exactly what I want. Look. My vision, take this, I don't know, something like this, put some flowers in here. That is some vision. Oh. I don't like them at all. I am so tired of everybody second guessing me. These are going. Taylor, these no. are going. No. Put I can't believe she's like 23. That's literally 11 years younger than me. And I feel like there's such a pressure on weddings to have them like utterly utmost perfect that I just don't see how a spray painted pink mason jar can fit into that narrative. But who am I to judge my lovelies? I only ever wear black, so there we go. I'm in the trash No, box. they're going they're in the car. car. I don't they're like the idea the of car. throwing them away. They're going in the car. No. Oh, no, look what you did. Dad, you're cleaning it this up. Is this is ridiculous. You're acting like a two year old. And true to form. I'm sorry, madam. You are 23. You should know how to behave a little bit better than that. Taylor storms off to sit in her car. Get okay. in here and clean this up right no. now. Taylor, the entire family is done with Taylor's behavior. Everybody was Taylor putting Swift. up with it. Well, like, well, Taylor got gone. a lot going on. But we're at the point where there's no excuse for her behavior. None at all. No, I'm sorry. I do not think that it's an appropriate course of action to be like, Oh my God, you don't like my pink jars? Well, fuck you. Do you want to buy my fucking barnyard? No. I don't think that that is an appropriate... God. At what point would you ever be like, excuse me, I'm now going to smash my mason jars, which were also going to be filled with the most foul flowers you've ever seen because it's my wedding and what's that? My most important day about me. I don't know. I just don't, I don't, I'm not vibing with that energy here in the studio today. Would you vibe with that energy here in the studio today? Before Tiffany can tell Sam that bridesmaid Rashonda is having dress issues. Oh, yes, my Tonight, Interesting flashback. We have only just seen this like eight minutes ago. Although in America, I know that you have adverts every like five minutes, don't you? Which are filled with like pharmaceutical adverts being like, Oh my God, have you got gout? Don't get gout by this. You might die. Like, I know that's very on point, should we say? It's time to take care of some dress issues of the brides. Right. Hey lady, don't be knocking for me because you was late. Come help. Be useful. I am highly oh, upset right now. My dress is being too big very and my wedding of, like, is in four days. Um, ma'am, Lovely lip color. We have a problem. Oh, they're bugs. So I'm about to drop my dress over to my aunt to take it in for me. What Don't. am I supposed to do? Just walk down the aisle with a big dress? No. Get it off my dress! Get the fuck off! Don't beat my dress! Okay, well, it's gone, but we got another problem, so you what, might want to come on. What's the problem? Oh. I can't deal with no more problems today. <laughs> Faced with oh a high strong Zilla. I must say, this like lovely, like red based purple is very beautiful on Sam. Tiffany takes the band aid approach to breaking the news and just lets it rip. Oh, here we go, here we go, girls. Are you ready? Trisha, the dress don't fit. My dress don't fit? How you know that? 
my cousin, my bridesmaid, Drashonda, is always so disrespectful. All she do is eat, 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 eat. But that's the thing, the dress ain't too small. The dress big? Yeah. That dress ain't big, all she do is chew. Why? Every time I look, she eat. Why she didn't tell me her dress didn't fit? Because nobody want to deal with you, Sam. Okay, we about to... Okay, you could have a moment here and be like, all right, I'm gonna have a little moment to myself and think why my other people are not wanting to be deal with me at this exact moment in time. I would just like to interject here, my lovelies, with a statement from the Chanel saying that we do not support body shaming here, no. See about this, four days before the wedding? Okay. Four days Shane before the wedding, Shana okay, so... meet up at all Very pressured. We know Drashana. She has a temper problem and there is a chance of her choking Shaniqua. Hurricane Sam, she's brewing in the Gulf. She's about to make- I feel like Tiffany here is the one with her head screwed on correctly because she's just kind of like, do you know what? I'm just gonna gently try and like mitigate everything. And she seems to be dealing quite well with this whole situation because the pressure of someone going off at me all the time, I would be like, oh, do you know, I need to remove myself from this situation so quickly before I say something I regret. No tea. Oh yes, after effects. The nervous is not holding me back. I'm about to check Jashanda and we about to put an end to this situation right now. I like her glasses. They're she gonna elegant. leave. Jashanda, oh, can you at least say hello first? Um, the two most ratchet people in the world. You waited four oh, days God. before the wedding? To tell me your dress does not fit. I tried it this oh morning. Oh dear. You should have tried it. Tempers are high, girls. I did. That's not my problem. It's this your is problem. Too big. How is big? What you mean, how is big? All this in the back is big. Like, uh, oh, you, you, you lost back fat all of a sudden? No, this whole thing. Like, bitch, who are you? All hell is gonna break loose right now. Oh, Don't Tiffany, imagine sitting in your car being oh, like, if oh, you walk no. sideways, you can get sideways. Well, that's the money to She's telling me I need to give her money. You can't wait last minute and tell a bride your dress don't fit. It's your fault, not mine. You need to go fit in that dress. Get your ass in the car. Oh, the veins, like, the, the pressure here is far too high for a dress that just doesn't fit slightly, you know? Like, it's still four days away. There are things we could do to try and fix the situation. It's not, not all is lost, but it wouldn't be good TV, would it, if everything was like, do you know what? There was a problem, and we adequately sat down and fixed it, and it was really lovely. This th that, that would never be on TV, because it's not interesting to watch. Find somebody to fix that dress, my father cut. I ain't fixing yeah. no dress. If you gonna pay for it, I'ma fix it. It's just a way in one day. God, get over yourself. That dress better be fixed by five o'clock on the dot. My stress level is out of this world. It's not even noon yet. I'm as far as Pluto right now. If they wanted oh to be to so me, gosh, the editing team, girls, it's like I've done it. <laughs> Unexpected item in backing, 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 backing. Take your change. No. I cannot tell you how chaotic this episode is so far. Most of the time I've just been sitting here like, do people say aghast? Is that the word? Aghast at like just the pacing of this show. It's like pow, 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 drama, 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 drama. Snatched. <laughs> I'm not a second to think. Right. You better make sure all of them is to their dress fitting this afternoon. They 14 bridesmaids, remember? 14. Was that whole point? I don't understand there. Do you think production was like, we've got your cousin here. She's driven to the car park. You're going to approach in a car and shout at each other. And then we're going to record it for TV. Is that what production was like? Great. Is that what that was? Okay, right. Back to Taylor. She's got nine friends. What does that mean? Yeah. What are you doing tonight? Okay. Just going to Joe's apartment. It's the night of Taylor's bachelorette party, but right. this social media all-star has a small problem. Okay. She's not going viral. What? We need y'all to come out with us. What? We've got an issue. Oh dear. Our girls that were going to come to my bachelorette party tonight have canceled. So now it's just me and Stacey having a party. If I can get two or three. I wonder why they've canceled. She's kind, she's humble. Why would your girly friends, girly pop, girly wigs cancel on you the last moment? I think there's a wonderful phrase for a situation like this in which um, sometimes it can help. Do you want to hear it, my lovelies? It goes, if the whole world stinks of poop, sometimes it's best to check your own shoes first.
three of my friends and two or three of your friends, and we right. can just be friends. Taylor wants Is that allowed? my bachelor party to all of a sudden turn into her bachelorette party. I'm not doing that. People need to be at my party! I don't know why she would put any of that responsibility on me. It's not my fault. Her only friends are Stacy and her mother. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Unable to bend Jonathan to her will, Taylor turns to Maid of Honor Stacy for a friend update. I must admit, though, the culture between, like, bachelorette parties and stag do's are, like, very different, aren't they? Like, in the UK, it's very, like, On the stag do, we all dress up as women and we go out and get absolutely shit and they have a stripper girl. Like, that's very normal, and it doesn't quite happen the same at bachelorette parties, which usually end up getting very drunk and going to gay bars. So, why would you want them mixing? I'm not sure. Did you call people? Do you have anybody coming? Oh, no. I don't even care if I don't know them at this point. It's just for social media. Okay. If you I are can't doing post it for the wrong reason. Pictures and showing everybody how much fun I'm having at my bachelorette party, then there's no point in going. So I the... can't believe that this is a real person having this real conversation. Like I just, I don't believe people are out there going. If no one's gonna turn up to my party, how will it not look good for social media? I just don't think that's happening. And if it is, oh, what an empty life. So these friendless frenemies dive deep, deep into their contacts, hoping to find someone, anyone, willing to join in on the fun. Oh, no, this is a bit embarrassing. Actually. I might have another person. Who's coming? Caitlin. Oh. If this Caitlin bitch shows up and she's got a better outfit on than us, then she needs to change. We are but you're inviting them out for free for photos. Be there at 8.30, so now we're gonna go get ready and God knows what. Finding the perfect outfit for a special occasion can be- I think this is a little bit cringe behavior. I must, I must remember also though that she's 23 and I think your priorities at 23, especially if you already have a house and you're getting married, your priorities might be very different to where mine were at 23. But the idea of saying, I need people at my party just so it looks good for social media when it's your bachelorette party for your wedding. Like, change the idea, sis. Change the idea. You're not going to look back at this at 10 years' time and be like, I am so glad I posted that on social media. Like, mm, I do not think. I do not think. be a challenge for any woman, but for a former pageant queen, it's an absolute cluster f Oh, okay, hang on, what's wrong pageantry, with this isn't it? Pageantry's it all about, like, like look at me. Grandma. Taylor has very grandma taste, and I try to look good all the time. What do you have? Let me see what you're wearing. Oh dear. Even though we're best friends, we still have to compete on who looks better. So I really hope Stacy won't steal my thunder. If you are wearing the- Best friends should not compete for who looks better. Best friends should compliment each other, really, on a night out so that you can look like the moment has arrived. Now, come on now. I cannot wear this. Stripper grandma. Not gonna happen. I'm not going to be second to you. Okay, then get your ass Okay, dressed. I will get dressed, just stop. I'm sorry, but this behavior is quite un unflattering. Pretty last minute. Ooh, That's cute. Hello. I knew Taylor in high school. She sent me a text and she just said, hey, ladies night in downtown Round Rock. So I said, okay. After settling on every woman's tried and true shapeless black shift, Taylor and her mini entourage head out for a night to remember. Wait, hang on. Lego. Oh no. I do wonder though if this is quite telling of the situation of like, there's only three of you and one of you you don't really know because you met them in high school and you haven't really spoken for a long time and it's your bachelorette party. And this is meant to be like, oh, I'm the moment on social media. Mm. I just don't get the vibe that this is gonna end well. Do you? Y'all expect me to drink and have any fun at all? I need to eat. I'm looking to see if they have any food there. Looks like Cajun food. There's quesadillas. Are you for real? Debatable. But fortunately, when they arrive, our hangry bride is pleased as punch at with the, the food on offer. At the tavern. Okay, I think we should do fried pickles, onion rings, and chicken strips. Fried fried. The girls we'll kick Taylor yeah. out with a special sippy cup, mm -hmm. and while they await their deep-fried feast, Taylor oh, is it in the shape of a penis? Social media. I'm not even drunk, and they're all blurry. What's a selfie-obsessed Zilla to do? Oh, if you want to make your social media posts impactful, my loves, don't always opt for the selfie. Try and think a little bit more cinematic. But then again, this was a few years ago, so the climate was very different from posting on social media. But still, the angled selfie, very out now. Just so you know. Use the balls. It's a yes, selfie. Yes, see? Much better. I love Change that. the focus, shift the focus. So we're Sorry, what was that? I love it. 
having so much fun. Hashtag dick pic. <laughs> Oh, pageantzilla, I do have friends. Oh, even this show is ridiculing her a little bit. This emoji here is going to haunt my nightmares. What is that? So where, where are we going after this? Right. I'm not gonna tell her. There's a lot of fun surprises about to happen. Oh dear, to oh, she's bus. not gonna like any of them. I just need to know with confidence that it is not gonna be something that I do not want it to be. I told Stacey, classy, not trashy. I feel like you know that I'm not gonna like it. I am not listening to anything that she says. I'm gonna do it the way I wanna do it and it's gonna be absolutely crazy. I feel like it should be fun because it's your bachelorette party. Okay, then just make it fun. You're just overthinking it and you are not gonna die. No one's gonna drug you. You're not gonna get arrested. I better not get arrested. That's not even an option. Oh I don't God. like surprises. I have told I don't know why, but like, has anyone in this show said anything likable so far? I feel like Tiffany and, oh, I've already forgotten this lovely lady with the highlights name. I feel like they're the only ones with their heads screwed on correctly. I'm like, yes, let me hear what you've got to say because everyone around you is just utter chaos from start to finish. Imagine being like, this is the biggest day of my life. I'm so excited to have this day, but I am gonna throw a tantrum at the drop of a hat about everything. So you see how stressed out this makes me. So I really cannot go with them. I, I have no control over the situation and I absolutely hate not having control. But don't, you, don't people usually like not have control over their Zilla, not Zilla parties, what they're called? Like at this point, is anyone having fun? Anyone? Aren't weddings also meant to be fun? When did the fun start being taken out of weddings? Also, who's this lady on the left here in the dark outfit? Do we know? An experience that is going to be Could this all be TV enjoyable production nonsense? for you just to have. It's well, what makes me think I should trust you? Because I'm your best friend. What yeah, the, the evening's not starting out good, is it? No, oh dear. Right, okay, back with Sam. What's the tea? After attacking bridesmaid Drashonda for a late game dress revelation. You should have tried to dress on when you first got I it. Did. All this in the back is big. Sam is unironically headed to her own last minute dress fitting. My dress is still in the back seat. What are you doing? You okay. want me to care? I can care. Thank you. Peasants do that. Calm You're down. Calling I have yourself. No, I You're have yourself. Don't worry about it. Peasant. The way she treats everybody, the way the whole situation is going on. Walk faster. You're walking too oh, slow. My God. I feel like they're just being so unlikable. And I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? The show is called Bridezilla. It's not like Bride Be Nicely. It's not that at all, is it? As bridesmaids, we're peasants. Hello. Well, I wouldn't hey, ever I'm suggest. Doing good. Right now, I'm here in my Aunt Mary Ann's home. She is cooking for my wedding, and she also sews. So I'm about to see if she can fix my dress for me. Amazing. Oh, How incredible sure to have someone you're related to who can do such a thing. Outside of vinegar, now I'm, I'm too small. So now my dress is big, and it's not. it needs to be it needs to be tight. Hang on. So she's got the same situation where her dress is a little bit big, as the same as her bridesmaid. But her bridesmaid got the brunt of her rage. But she's also like, four days before my wedding, but I just want to make sure it fits nicely. A little bit hypocritical. It needs to be all. It needs to be tight. Initially, I was right. just part of the cooking team, but today I got hit with the alteration of the dress. I love oh. my niece, but it's a lot of pressure because yes. she's very particular. So oh. see, just look at it's not even fitting right. Well, you're not even zipped, are you? No, I'm not. Well, we can't. Um, Tiffany. Excuse me. Oh, don't click your fingers at me. I don't like this. Okay. You see this? Okay, so you wanted to hug your body. Yes, my boobs are already saggy. Maybe you should have gone to a plastic surgeon before you came to me. <laughs> plastic surgeon on hand, but she does have Tiffany. Tiffany, can, can you pick them up, please? When I say peasants, I'm not joking. I need it to be tight. That way not, you can no, hold them in place. No, no. I do want to say though, I feel like this is beyond a, a, like a regular alteration. I feel like this is like, oh no, the bodice needs to be redesigned on this dress because there's like space here as well as at the back. It's not just like, oh, the back straps need to be like tightened up a little bit, maybe a dart put in. It's like, oh no, the, the shape around the bust needs changing. This is actually a bit more work than just pop it around my auntie's house and hopefully she can just whip it through the machine. <laughs> So when are you going to have this ready? Mm. I, well, need, I need it done tomorrow. Tomorrow? Did you invite me to the wedding or to Not work sure. for you? I don't need an invitation to the wedding. You're going to be there cooking. 
like I said... Would you like to wear this, baby, and pin your dress because have at it? I am not a seamstress, okay? You know what? If you wasn't family, little girl, you would be out of my house. Yes. If my Aunt Marianne does not get my dress done in time, I really don't know what I'm going to do. My only hope right now is her. Well, I feel like she wasn't like invited into the conversation as like a, I don't know, if someone's doing something for me last minute and I haven't been able to get anything else to work, I'm like, thank you, thank you so much. Anything that you can do would be very grateful for. It doesn't feel like that's the energy here. It feels like the energy is a bit like, you need to do this or else. Electric chair. So, okay, so I cannot What's that phrase? You... An emergency on, no, a mistake on your behalf does not constitute an emergency for me. Is that what is that what that is? I cannot let you leave my house without praying. Yes, okay. ma'am. Lord okay. God, I just ask that you would release her from this stress, this anxiety that she's putting on everyone, Lord God. Oh. We ask that you would touch her, Lord God, touch her body, not Waski, but you first, dear God. Wait, what? Can we all say amen? Amen. 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 Oh, that was Are a bit passive aggressive prayer, wasn't it? Some sense of relaxation? No. You don't? No. The prayer didn't help you? No. In that prayer, you said, what, what did you say? The stress she is causing everyone else. What about the stress that is coming my way? You should have had that in your prayer. You Second. know what? Honestly, Shanika, I'm about, I'm about sick of you. In the back of my head, I'm like, Sam, are you doing too much? Are you really not considering everyone else's feelings? And leave the dresses and let me try. That's all this I need. This poor woman was just like, yeah, I'll cook, I'll do some nice food for your wedding. And if you want me to have a little look at your dress, just to make sure. And she's come in being like, how dare you? It's just like, oh, <laughs> poor Auntie Mary. No, we're not doing that to Auntie Mary. Okay, all I need you to do is try, is do it. No, Sam, you're not doing too much because this is your wedding. So, hey, if I hurt a few feelings, come on, yes. darling. Oh. Please, please, please. You, you, oh, you've really? disrupted my home. Oh, my spine. I hope the prayers help, and I'm praying that after her wedding, she'll go back to the Shanika, who we can love every day. You're a beautiful person you sure? outside. Let's work on that inside. Right, okay, back with Taylor. After giving her BFF the third degree about the plan for the bachelorette party... Well, what makes me think I should trust you? Because I'm your best friend. What are you talking about? The ladies indulge... I in could not be friends with either of these the ladies, I don't think. ...begins to relax. She's even making new friends. Oh, how surprising. I don't even know her. But alas, one of Taylor's original crew has had enough. I am sorry, but I really have to go. It's not even 11. Yeah, but you know I have to work tomorrow. I don't care. I can't just call in. I've already yes, called can. in twice this week. Well, that's week. not my problem. Well, I just need to go. Well, then fine. If you don't want to be here, then leave. Okay. Bye. I mean, she, she literally said that, so I'm that's like... not a threat. <laughs> oh, God, this woman insufferable. It's not very often here on the Chanel that I will pass reactionary commentary on the people in the shows. Quite often, it's a case of like the environment that causes the behavior within the show. But I, in this show, I'm not seeing any redeemable features. Are you? The only thing I can possibly imagine is that production has come in and said, if you want to be a star, make sure you come across as like the villain in this show. Because I just struggle to believe that either of these two women just go about their daily lives like this, like 100% of the time. I just struggle to believe. I struggle. Taylor, I actually have a job that I go to every morning. I'm not even invited to the wedding. I don't know why I'm even here tonight if I'm not important enough to go to the wedding. Oh, well, oh my God. Taylor may have lost a friend. But buoyed by True. her newfound entourage, our bridezilla allows herself to be transitioned to phase two. Oh, let's the not surprise. talk about transitioning. Where are we going? Wait, who are these We're people? Going to we got a place locked in and everything is set. Now, are you going to listen to Taylor's wishes and not have any strippers? I am not listening to anything that okay, she says. Okay, right. Oh, dear. Lady here. lesbian what? strippers. I'm not going. I hate strip clubs with a passion. I refuse to do that. That is not my character. That is not who I am, and I will not go. Except for maybe this one time. Oh, right, okay, right. Immediately morals out the window, okay. But there isn't much time for Taylor to sit and ponder before she's greeted by the welcoming committee. Right, okay. Oh, this is very the box. 
champagne spa. Oh dear! Oh, a lap dance! Oh, I think I need an adult. Dance on me! No, yes, we did. We think we speak for everyone when we say, yes, ma'am. I cannot! This is not okay! This feels a bit exploitation, doesn't it? Not... I don't even know how to begin to have somewhat sensible commentary on what's happening here because I feel like reality TV exploitation. Do you? Do you feel like that? I don't understand, bitch. touching me and I don't have any kind of anything to get this off me. Unfortunately for Taylor, it turns out he was just the warm-up act. She's very highly strong, isn't she? Oh! Oh, oh dear! Oh, dear. oh goodness I me! An over! Like this. I don't go out, I don't party, I don't do any of that. I felt so uncomfortable. That's just disgusting. Yeah, you seem pretty horrified. <laughs> normal for a bachelorette party i feel like this is a bit broadening the horizons should we say is she a lesbian we haven't no she's marrying a man isn't she i mean she could be bisexual i suppose oh, oh goodness oh, fallopian tubes oh on display fine. i've had enough you need to be sociable with people i am sociable i tell everyone hello say hello how are you it's a wall hello how are you, are you? Hello, okay. how are you? Am I doing a good job? Am I being social? To nobody who can hear you. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Is, is that better? That's a little better. Is it better though? Question. Right, come on, Sam. It's time for Sam to meet all 14 of her bridesmaids for a dress inspection. Gosh, here we go. Tonight okay. we're about to do the dress, dress fitting for time. my bridesmaids. I'm praying that there's no issues, but knowing them, I'm pretty sure we're about to run into some issues. First in line. I don't think I want that nose ring in my wedding. Okay, we're gonna see about that. Yes, we will. Sam been so petty and I'm ready to just let it all go. Period. This needs to be like this. You need to put this in. But it's choking me. It's okay. I mean, this is my wedding. I don't want anyone looking a hot mess. All right, so make sure I don't see your feet. You guys should be saying thank you, Sam, for caring about the way that I look. But no, you guys want to be unappreciative. As for you. This morning, I let her know that the dress was baggy at the top in the back. All this in the back is big. Like, uh, oh, you, you you lost back fat all of a sudden? She seems like it's going very well, does it? Oh, she just makes me so crazy. So what was the problem? Okay, you were trying to explain. All these, all that. Um, you need to tuck in the back fat right here. <gasps> oh, no, she did. The bitch act like something wrong with her. She treat everyone like a peasant. And as Sam continues to go down the line, no one is safe, especially not her nearest and dearest. You fall back in line. Please do not speak to me like you are the sergeant, okay? Yeah, I am this is the kind of like this is kind of giving me like the ick in a way because okay, yes, it's your wedding, it's your one big day, it's like the most important day you're ever gonna have. Blah blah blah. blah. These people are still gonna be in your life after this day, and if they're just like. Oh my God, she was an absolute nightmare all day. They might just be like, we're gonna softly cut you off. She's my sister and you think I would be used to it by now. I have never seen somebody who's so demanding. I'm not dealing with you today, you no ma'am. You can walk out. I do wonder if maybe she's just putting it on for the cameras or been told to. Love to be a guest, that's fine. How about you don't, how about you don't have to be a guest? Oh dear. Not well, come on, the baby, anybody else? Well, since you asked, Let's go. Bye. Oh, bye. Bridesmaids are leaving. Y'all don't make my wedding. Y'all don't make my wedding. Remember that. Girl, bye. I'm to the point where I just want to walk away. I'm done. I don't blame you. Don't blame you. And don't just blame. like that, Sam's bridal party just got a whole lot smaller. Here you go, sugar. You too? Enjoy seven. your wedding. You didn't drop out. Make sure y'all tell the people that you didn't drop out. I kicked you out. No, that's but not what happened, out, Sam. Sam has a few more things to say on the subject. You had next? your wedding. Whatever you asked me to do, no. I did. I no. hated it. No. My dress you picked out. Hated it with a passion. And? And I wore it. I wore a horrible strapless dress for her. And she know I can't stand to wear a strapless dress because I don't have breasts. But you know what? I wore it for her because it was her day. Oh, and she was the bride. What 
is this? Also, Mother Teresa was not a very nice person by all accounts. So, is that tea? This situation is so over the top and a bit ridiculous. As I mentioned earlier, I just can't believe that these two women like would behave like this outside of a show. I don't think I could have this level of energy around me. If my like sibling or friend was behaving like this, I'd be like, electric chair. I'm sorry, a huge distance needs to be put between us. Who do you think you are? I wait for your wedding and you and I'm asking you to give me the, the same in return. And I can't even get it. Y'all, none of y'all understand what I'm going through right now. The stress is out of control. What is what I'm crazy? crazy. I'm going through. What is the stress I'm going through? I'm going to do what I want to do for my what wedding. Not the stress. Whether you like it or not. I'm I don't think a wedding is worth this, madam. I don't think a wedding is worth this. Especially as your husband-to-be has just kind of been like, I don't really mind what happens, to be honest, as long as I love you. Like, we haven't seen him again, have we, <laughs> throughout this show. He's just kind of appeared once, briefly sitting on the couch, and that's it. I'm supposed to fall for them? Like no, that's not going, going to happen, by the because it's my wedding. You want your life to be perfect. It's, it's, that, it's going to be perfect. No, it's not. It's going to be perfect. perfect. No. Well, yeah, the memories aren't going to be good, are they, if this is the build-up? I want things my way for my day. I think you can have things your way for your day. Oh my god, a friend just disappeared off of Taylor's list here on their fake Facebook page. I wonder if that's like, because Caitlyn left the party early. I hate you. I'm going home. I just can't express my shock at this show. Is this what this show is like the whole time? The whole time? It's less than four hours oh until God, the wedding. We and before the day has even dawned, Taylor is already running late. I know I was supposed to be here 45 minutes ago. I am feeling the pressure. Okay, I'm in my pajamas. Can I at least like get dressed? Like I haven't even got time to get dressed. I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Like I need, I need to go. And with that, our pageantzilla heads over to a familiar haunt, hair and makeup. Right. I at am a pageant a. queen. The expectation is incredibly high. And if it's not mm, perfect, I yeah, am I not, not walking down the aisle. But she will be live streaming the whole process. To how many viewers? Friends on social media media we are live streaming for all of our friends who are unable to come so tune in at 10 30 central time gotta let everybody know i'm gonna have a lot of people watch my video we gotta check and see if i had any people follow my social media live feed nobody comments it are you seriously kidding me i don't care if it's live stream because i'm here in the present but i don't think anyone's gonna care this is very odd behavior. I feel like this is a side effect of like the social media. I don't even know what to call it. The social media, like the idea of suddenly becoming a main character. For me as a social media person, like social media is my job. It's my career. It's my empire. It's something I'm building. I want longevity. I'm here to invite people into a discussion about something that I'm also interested in. And on my Instagram, for example, where it looks like this kind of a vibe is happening, that maybe TikTok or Snapchat, something like that. You have to have a lens to say something. A lot of people don't just want to tune into something just to watch something happening unless you are literally someone like Kylie Jenner, let's say. Like an actual A-list celebrity blah de blah Like I'm sure there would be some people here that would love to watch me live stream a special event in my life. But if it was just literally like... You're gonna watch me spend all my money on me being me. Like that is not content. That in a way is like showing off something. And are there, uh, is anyone here interested in watching someone show off? Not me. I know I'm not. And I'd like to think that I create content that is engaging and that I would want to watch even if I wasn't a social media person. I feel like this is something that happens when people say something like, I want to start something. I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to start an Instagram on something. Something. You need to boil down what it is that you want to start. You can't just be like, I want to make a YouTube channel, but I've got no idea what I want to film. Okay, you've already defeated yourself. It took me 14 years to get any real marketed success here on YouTube. 2006 to 2020, that's when my career really took off here on the Chanel. And I tried many, many, many different ways of creating content that I found impactful. And it suddenly happened, my loves. Are you sure that you wanna have this live streaming thing happen? 
Is that even a question? Like, yes. Because I have people all over the world that cannot be here. I'm sorry, you don't have people all over the world that care about you, but I do. With Taylor's adoring fans what dying horrible to- horrible thing to say to your best friend. What a horrible, horrible attitude to have. Especially on your, like, happiest day of your life and you're taking this energy for words. Like, I hope that this is just amped up for TV and that people aren't actually like this, but I just struggle to believe that, like, anyone is still around them if they are really like this. Tune in. Her number one fan finally arrives. How's it going? Is this Pretty good. Pretty good. How are you feeling? I'm freaking nervous about today, so hopefully this flies by fast and I kind of wish I could just sleep through the whole thing and wake up and it'll all be over. Always a good sign. Yep, see? Update on the wedding date. I have two viewers so far. So I'm about to pick my lip color. I think we should do a poll. Will you get me three colors and ask? No. Mom, I'm no. serious. No, we're not doing a poll for your lip color. Yeah. It's wedding day, and I'm so excited that it's finally here. And of course, we're running behind. But punctuality Okay, this is a gorgeous venue. Where, where, why didn't we see all of this? DIY Zilla has just realized she can't DIY live stream her own ceremony. Why? Mom, we got an issue. Listen, Diva, every time I come in here, you're stopping me Listen, from Diva. doing work. Okay. Oh, look, uh, I seriously it. need help. Okay, what? I need you to find somebody live stream because I already have been live streaming, telling people that I'm live streaming. If your biggest concern is live streaming, yeah, seriously, yeah. don't call me in here for that. I'm ready for today to be over. Do we have centerpieces in the, on the table? They're working. Okay, okay, time out. Time Guess out. what I was time doing. Out. Time Putting out. Putting centerpieces time on out. the table. Taylor's attitude, I see it very much taking a toll on my sister. She is going to have to get herself in check and realize that this is not just about her. Once she is pageant perfect, Taylor... I do feel, I do, I'm going to say it, my loves, delusion. I feel like there's a strong sense of delusion in this show. <laughs> the finer points of totalitarian like yes you can want to have a beautiful wedding that people are going to tune in and watch but unless you've got a story or a lens to share that through something you've overcome in life something that makes you relatable to people something that makes people interested in hearing what you have to say i don't feel like taylor here has said anything that's like engaging everything she said is like a bit spoiled Oh, and I hate saying that because I always try and find the good. That is um. Did anybody fix my cake toppers? Wait, why is there random flowers everywhere? Mom, there's stuff on here. We have got to get all these leaves off this table. Can you get rid of that cigarette? Okay, I want this window to be the centerpiece. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I do not like black with it. It's white and gold for a reason. I don't want black. I want my wood. I don't want black. I need you to put my what dress on, and I'm probably gonna need more people. And I'm I have sorry. To... Why has she just got a window on display, like Safe Style UK? What is this? Email. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. We got it. Need to find you don't need anybody, any help going to the bathroom. I, well, I need you to be waiting for I, me to put my dress on. I'm ready to put your dress on. We are less than an hour away. Oh, right. The dress. Or should we say dresses? Okay, I guess just see if you can zip it. Jump. Oh, no, nope. my skinny right. dress see, doesn't yes, fit, but my fat dress is too big. Uh, Not yeah. even just try. Close. Okay. But it looks like someone's feeling like defying the odds. Everything is bigger in Texas, including me. But I am not wearing my fat dress. I am only wearing my skinny dress, no matter what. Just make it work. What does that mean? Oh. Okay, I'm pulling this way. Guys, like, you're probably like, cutting me in half. Okay, just chill out. I, I literally cannot breathe. Just if you really it wanted really to fit, fit into your wedding dress, maybe we should have started a few weeks ago. But where's the fun in that? Okay. okay. You got this. Oh. Yep. Oh, dear. That's, it's particular, like, she needs to be in a different corset, I think. Just suck it in. Taylor, if you would have got that damn boob job, this dress would fit. We're not talking about a boob job right now. Well, I mean, job? this is ridiculous. We're she had a boob job. She had a wedding dress fitting and then had a boob job. You you do need a, a refit after that, absolutely. Happen, y'all. <laughs> there, bitch, it's it. Is suck it, at the boobs, I did not pay for these boobs to be sucked in. The dress may be in place, but Taylor suddenly realizes there's one very important wedding day detail that very much I'm isn't. There's a problem with it. Where's my officiate? I was so busy nitpicking, I didn't even notice my officiate wasn't here. She also, I don't know if the makeup artist has done this on purpose, but they've lightened her face tone or haven't perhaps matched the tan on her body. And I don't know why that is, but I must say, they've also brought the highlight really close in on her face, she's got really pronounced cheekbones, so I would have just limited it to the very edge of her face here, just to bring a nice sense of balance. Interesting. 
Interesting choices here in the makeup game. Nitty Love the hair. I didn't even notice my officiant wasn't here. Yeah, gold highlight Hello. here. Hey, where are you? We it. have to get this oh. wedding started. I have not heard from you. You are absolutely gonna kill oh, me. Oh no. My oh, daughter no. has like 102 temperature. Oh, she's canceled. My wife hasn't come back the yet. daughter's canceled. I, I can't believe canceled. You're not going to make it? My fishing canceled. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like we are screwed. At this point, this wedding will not happen. Yes, well, you need yes, that you need an officiator. Oh, cancelled. Taylor. Oh gosh, she's losing friends like there's no tomorrows. My fishing can't it. be here because their kid is sick. Apparently that comes before their job. I don't know what to say to you. I mean, don't you re Okay, I just can't believe, I just cannot believe that someone would go through life and actually say that sentence right there. on social media. If you're oh, not going to be here, here I'm wasting my time talking to you. Don't you know who I am? I will destroy you on social media, my lovelies. I, do you know, no. If you were to post online that you are quote unquote destroying your officiant because they have prioritized their own offspring's health and well-being over your wedding day, you would get destroyed on social media, not your officiant. And it would be deserved as well. It's one I of these moments it. where she's My officiant canceled. And with nowhere else to turn, once again, Taylor relies on family to save her day. I just got a call from my officiant that he's not able to come. Right. So I need you to marry us. Are you serious? I, it's a good thing you? your hair is done because Is yes. that allowed? Are, what? are family members allowed to, mar to marry you? Are, are they allowed? Is that allowed? In an interesting turn of events here that I don't think I've ever mentioned here on the Chanel, my lovelies, I myself am ordained for humanist ceremonies. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I've never done it though. What am I supposed to say? I don't even care. Nobody's paying attention to that. They're just paying attention to what we look like. Oh, hang on. Is so this, like, five years ago, I did actually work for our church. I was our children's pastor. So I have done um, some funerals and weddings before. Okay, Aunt Alicia right, so seems to be a it. woman of many, many talents, such as drumming up an unsuspecting guest what is that tattoo? Talons? What is that? Such I can't really see what it is. Can anyone see what that tattoo is? I'm s maybe roses and skulls? I guess it's kind of similar to mine. Uh, can you see? Roses and skulls? Is that roses and skulls? Berries and cream! Oh, hurrah! Is drumming up an unsuspecting guest to do the live streaming of the ceremony. Right. Tanya will live stream. So she needs to sit office. up really close. Like first or second row. I am not kin to Taylor. I've just been friends with her parents for about 13 years. Hello, okay, so girl. basically you're just gonna have to go to my profile, post, and then live video. You then you'll just flip the voice. camera and then you can narrate a little bit. Okay. Talk. If people are commenting, if you can comment back, that's better because more people will view. Okay. Whatever you say. Oh no, I feel like this lady, as much as she's lovely, a lovely lady, she doesn't give the vibe that she knows how to make a live stream impactful, engaging, and catch all the action. Oh, I don't think it's quite gonna go to Taylor's plan. No, she's gonna lose all those friends. Do you got this? I got it, I think. Oh Lord. The live stream better be absolutely perfect. It's time, it's wedding well, time. Well then you should pay for it, sis. When it comes to being married to somebody forever, that is terrifying. Like, right, I don't know go. if I can put Some up with this stuff forever. Blurred, because obviously they I did mean, not for me, it's balls. murder or dealing with it. So I guess we'll see how it works out. I like that on, blue. Dad. I'm not gonna lie, that blue was a nice color on her. The only nice thing I'm gonna say yet. Note, it's time for Taylor's Sunday brunch themed wedding to begin. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry, a Sunday brunch themed wedding? What? Oh, the girls are brunching. The wedding to begin. I love Taylor. I know she'll go to the ends of the earth for me, so right. I just wanna get married. I wanna say my adieus. Will you please rise as the bride enters? No. I think there's a lot of freaking people here. Let's go. Down. I walk out, I'm completely flustered. My wedding is like a pageant, and I'm trying to walk confidently, straight, what a really and have great posture. Up sentence that was. Pageant! Jonathan, do you take Taylor to be your wife and to be faithful to her alone as long as you both shall live? Oh, 
I must admit the wedding decor does look a bit like she might have found it on Pinterest. Which isn't bad, like it's not bad, but it does feel a little bit like, well, I made this from Pinterest and I made this from Pinterest and it's Pinterest. You know, your style is your style and you like what you like, but I love it when people try and do something a little bit different. I do. Taylor, do you take Jonathan to be your husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jonathan, you may kiss your bride. This was not my dream wedding, but it happened. And I have photos to share to all my social media friends. I just, I just struggle to think that that's real. It's person. done, we're married, and there's no because going back. Because they have back. a child. Divorce, Oh God, I'm walking up the stairs. Well, let's just hope they make it through the reception. But first things first. All of that drama, all of that stress, all of that for this, for that, that's it. That little like 20 minutes. That's it. Let's just hope they make it through the reception. It's so but alien First things first. Me. How'd you do? So I missed all the bridesmaids coming in. You had one job, Tanya. Okay, that's okay. You. That's okay. That's perfect. I, 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 I I'm the important one. Okay, great. From what I can tell, it was really successful. Taylor had about 30 live stream followers. Well, success looks different to different people, but there's at least one person in Taylor's life who isn't satisfied with Taylor's version of the status quo. So Aunt Alicia pulls Taylor aside for a little come to Jesus. Oh, I've just watched you go through this process and I just want you to know how much I love you and how much you mean to me but. and Jonathan. And I just hope that you can take this experience and realize that life is not about you. <laughs> You're gonna have to keep your attitude in check Tate. and not be so temperamental. You Wait, can't just Tate. fly off the smallest thing. I just don't, I don't see it, but whatever you say, you're old, so you probably know. Whatever, oh. stop pissing me off. She's so, being so unlikable, so unlikable, unrelatable, and just, Always a great sign when the groom would rather be anywhere but at the bride's yes. side. Yes, Everybody's I agree. leaving because you're not out there, John. I don't want to risk getting cussed out or getting yelled at in front of my family, so it's just easier for me to just stick to my groomsmen. We're doing the photo booth. I don't care. Right. I don't care if Jonathan is pissed as long as my pictures are perfect. Right. And that's what really matters because let's face it, marriages may end, but pictures are eternal. Aww. Several months later, we checked in to see how Taylor was faring. Wait! Married life is good. With Jonathan and I being so big into social media, it was huge for me to share our weddings with all my friends that don't live in, in the States, and don't live in this country. Not the States or this country, huh? Okay, then. I have gained a lot of followers since what? live streaming our wedding, and they are watching our ceremony over and over again. Sure they are. But what about Taylor's real life friends? Yeah, I don't uh, think people are watching friend. live streams. Daisy and I really haven't talked since the wedding. The bachelorette party was definitely awkward and I have not recovered from the stripper experience. Now that the wedding is over, Stacy and I just don't really have that connection that we used to anymore. So how is Taylor filling her days now? Me and my mom still hang out every single day. I'm definitely better friends with my mom and even my aunt now than I am with Stacy. At least there's that. What? What? I'm so confused. Hang on. What happened to Sam's wedding? Did I miss that? Did something happen? And I've missed it. Wait, 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 wait. What? I need, wait, but I, I'm so confused. So my loves, in the most genuine way possible, what the absolute fuck was that? We didn't even see anything to do with Sam's wedding there towards the end. And this doesn't feel like a show that continues onto the next episode, like what happened next kind of a thing. I am genuinely a bit gobsmacked there. Like how did this happen? Like why did this show decide to follow two individual women go through their marriage process and then not show one? And definitely not give us like any resolution as viewers. Like, oh, this happened, they didn't get married or the marriage wasn't quite, or the wedding didn't go to plan or something like that. Like what? If anybody knows what happened there, my lovelies, let me know in the comments because I'm so confused about that. Secondly, I was absolutely gobsmacked there at the end. And I'm also not surprised that literally it feels like all of Taylor's friends were just like, no, the friendship very swiftly dissolved after the wedding. That kind of indicates to me that perhaps while some of the attitudes in this show 
were exaggerated for TV. Perhaps there were some issues going on with the friendships behind the scenes. And we never saw that Caitlyn girl again, did we? She was like, I need to go home. And then she did and we never saw her again. I do also again want to say that if you're only ever going to do something for the way that social media will perceive it, and you aren't already somebody who perhaps has a career on social media or even like a, a well-invested hobby, who are you trying to like show on social media that your life is like desirable and perfect and engaging and wonderful? if you haven't already built a following. There might be some people out there that actually just, you know, love the idea of just sharing on social media. They want to share everything. You know, you do you. You have to have a hobby. It keeps you sane in this world, my lovelies. But it is just a little bit perplexing that you would try and make your whole wedding about social media, but also then, but then kind of miss the essence of what it means to make an engaging social media experience. I don't know. I just don't get it. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's video because I've been on an emotional roller coaster the entire time. I don't know if I want to do another episode of this, my lovelies. Let me know if you want me to do another one in the comments below. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here. Yes, you can. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Pasty Love. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram, Stunning Woman on the Go. Oh, bestie. If you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me over on Instagram. It is XXXAria, and I post travel and fashion content over there, my lovelies. Wow, okay, right. And as always, I guess it's time to say a huge thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Ariadia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Elizabeth Stone, Emily Worsham, Eric Castillo, Finn Dunham, Jen Martin, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Les Banana, Min Min Tia, Mariah Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Stefutech, The Chaos Collective, and Vicky Walsh. Do you know what, my loves? I think I'm gonna leave it on the note of. Oh God, I don't even know what to leave it on the note of. I think just like, don't be a horrible meanie to people that you're meant to love. Like, don't. Oh.